Hi everyone, it's Kate Kaltoff. Welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you a really easy card that's, that's super fun to put together and it just looks so striking. We are going to use the High Tide stamp set and this is the card we're going to make. Now the stamp set is carrying over into the new catalog that's debuting in a couple weeks here. But the paper that I use that just looks awesome with this lighthouse is from the Cupcakes and Carousels Designer Series Paper Stack. It's a 6x6 six six paper stack and it's just got all these great papers. The underlying color is very vanilla and so you can see some of these here. And the one that I chose to use for the card today is this one, kind of a sunburst. And so let's go ahead. This is a great summer paper, so if you don't already have it, you might want to get it before it becomes unavailable. And it will become unavailable on May 31st. Right now, it's on sale for $6 for 48 sheets of paper. So that's a pretty incredible deal. Um, so I encourage you to get this if you haven't already gotten it. And so again, this is a card we're going to make. Just beautiful. And it's a very quick and easy card to do. So let's go ahead and get started using the High Tide stamp set. So the first thing we're going to need is our card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead, take my bone folder and give that a nice press so that the card lies flat for us while we work with it. We are going to be working with this designer series paper. And the sheet that we're using, of course, is six by six. So we need to cut that down. So the first thing that I did is I cut this in half. And that gives us a three inch by six inch piece of paper. But we want to bring that down so that we have a little bit of a border around the edge of this card. So we're going to trim off three eighths of an inch at the top and three eighths of an inch at the bottom because we want our sunburst to be in the exact middle of the paper. That will help make it easier for us when we're lining up our circle at the Big Shot machine. So this is what I did. I cut it down and it's three by five and one fourth. Now I need to go to the Big Shot machine and using our circle framelits, which look like this, they come with scallop and with straight edge, we're actually going to be using the straight edge and we're going to use the very largest circle that's available in the straight edge. And we're going to put that on the Big Shot machine and let me show you what I did here. I use my magnetic platform, then I have my cut plate, the paper that I wanted to cut, and then my circle. And you can see what I did here is I had the circle and I put it so that half of the circle was off and half of the circle was on. And then I tried to center it so that the center of the sunburst would be in the very center of the circle, which means you have about the same distance at the top and the bottom. And then I put another cut plate over the top, ran it through the Big Shot machine, and this is what I get. So we have this, this cute little sunburst cut out that we're going to use on the inside of our card. And then we have this piece that we're going to use on the outside of our card. So we'll just go ahead and we'll take this piece right now and we'll just glue that right to the outside of our card. So I'm using some multi-purpose liquid glue and we're just putting a little line all the way around the outside. And then we'll just set this in right here. And what's nice about the glue, of course, is you can wiggle that into place so everything is perfectly spaced. So now we have our cutout here. So the next thing that we're going to do is work with this tag piece. So let's set this aside and grab a piece of very vanilla. This is two by three and three fourths. Now the thing to remember is when you do a scallop tag topper with our scallop tag topper punch, you need to remember that this two is a shy two. You don't want to make it exactly two or it won't fit nicely in here. So you want to make it just shy of two inches and that will fit nicely into the tag topper punch. So we'll just put that in there all the way to the back, give it a punch, and we have our nice scallop topper on our tag. Now because this is a photopolymer set, we are going to bring our Stampin' Mat into the picture and we are just going to ink up that lighthouse and we'll be stamping this on the right side here of this tag. Beautiful. And then the next thing that we want to do is we are going to stamp some 
some beams of light off to the right and off to the left of the lighthouse. So there's one going off to the left, and then we have another one here. Whoops, I should have said that other one was going off to the right, and here's the one going off to our left. Perfect. And now what we want to do is stamp our sentiment. The beams were inked up with So Saffron, and the sentiment is inked up with Early Espresso. So we're going to put the sentiment right here. And it says, there's nothing little about the light you shine. And then to just accentuate the word light, we're again going to ink up with So Saffron using a little circle here. We're just going to stamp that right in the middle of the word light. And there it is. Our tag is complete. So let's go ahead now and put some dimensionals on the back. And as you can see, I used five dimensionals. So now we'll just set this into the card. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in Oh, I suppose about right here. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to accentuate this with a bit of a tie on here, except we're not actually going to tie it on. We're going to cheat. So I'm just going to make a bow and then we'll attach the bow with a glue dot. I mean, if you want to, you can tie your string right through the tag, which also works great, but sometimes it's just quicker to go ahead and use a glue dot, which is what I'm going to do. So just add a glue dot to the back of this bow, and we're going to set this in right here. Then all you need to do is trim up these edges so they look really nice and cute, and our card is complete on the front. So here's what the front looks like. Now for the inside panel, we're going to take a piece of very vanilla, 4 by 5 and 1 fourth, and I'm going to set this down with a little bit of snail at the top of this panel and set this in right here. Then we're going to take this circle cut out here, this little half circle, and we'll just set this in right here on the left, just halfway up. And there we go. Now we have something that ties the inside of the card to the outside of the card. And I just think it looks lovely. So here is the card we just did. Here's the card I had done for you in advance. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for being a part of Stamping a Share. Be sure to get your cupcakes and carousel paper while it's still on sale for $6. And if you'd like to purchase your products through me, be sure to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.